And in closing, let me just say, we discover who we are and our purpose in life through the lens of who God is. That lens is God's word. And as we continue to be faithful students of God's word, let's always remember that Christ is our ultimate guide. As he takes us through the scriptures, he is revealing himself and speaking to us on every single page. Now, I know I've given you a lot of information to think about and practice on. And I also know that Satan would love nothing more than to convince you that these techniques are too complicated for you to use on a regular basis, or that you don't have the time or the resources or the patience or the know-how to master them. I promise you, if I can do this, you can do this. So when and if those doubting thoughts come, recognize the source and refuse to listen to his lies. Remember that Satan is the enemy of your soul. He doesn't want you to experience life transformation. He doesn't want you to live in freedom or operate in the fullness of God's power to fulfill your calling. But praise God that our Lord who is in us is greater than he that is in the world. That's why I wanna give you these last two final Bible verses as we wrap up our time together. Let them be faith anchoring promises that will remind you of God's goodness as you study the word with him in the days ahead. The first one is in James 1, 5, and it says, if any one of you lacks wisdom, let him ask God who gives generously to all without reproach and it will be given to you. That gives me so much hope. It reminds me that no question that I could ask would be too stupid for the Lord, that he's right there willing to give me wisdom that I need to understand him and see him in the passages. And 1 John 2, 27 says, you have received the Holy Spirit and he lives within you. So you don't need anyone to teach you what is true for the spirit teaches you everything you need to know and what he teaches is true. It is not a lie. So just as he has taught you, remain in fellowship with Christ. Friends, thank you for investing this time with me today. I hope you've learned some things that will deepen your love for Jesus and increase your desire to spend time with him as you study his words that he's written down for you. As your sister in Christ, I want you to know that I love you and I believe in you and I will be praying for you in the days ahead.